this one um, is pretty sweet. Let me get my, uh, my scale out I want to show you guys. I always feel weird with this scale, like I'm some sort of drug dealer or something, but I haven't given this scale pep talk in a while, but if you guys don't have a scale, definitely get one, especially if you're buying from shady places. eBay can be weird, um, Craigslist can be weird, even local coin shops sometimes can be a little sketchy with the stuff that they accept. If you're buying from pawn shops, things like that, I promise you they don't have metal like precious metal verifiers. And if they do, cool, you're good. But um, yeah, definitely get yourself a scale just so you can verify at least the weight. Um, because that is, believe it or not, weight and dimension is the hardest thing for people to counterfeit. Why? Because these metals are very, very specific in their density. Therefore, only so much mass can fit in so much volume. So if they get the dimension right, obviously their weight's gonna be wrong. If they get their weight right, then their dimensions might be wrong. So grab yourself a scale. Man, I've been talking too much. My uh, camera ran out of space, so sorry if the frame shifted a little bit or something like that. But anyways, all I'm getting at is buy yourself a dang scale. They're really cheap, it'll save you money. This scale is cheaper than an ounce of silver, so if it saves you one counterfeit purchase, it, look, it's already paid for itself, but it'll probably save you a couple. So I know, uh, some of you might recognize what this is. Swiss of America. Some of the most beautiful rounds ever made. Uh, these come from a mint called the Draper Mint. D-R-A-P-E-R. -E um, <clears throat> and let's just take a look. Ooh wee. You see them on the side? You see those lines? They're mighty spaced out, aren't they? Let's uh get that out of the way so geez that one's uh this guy's being difficult all right so these are in a dime tube by the way a nickel tube these are in a nickel tube, by the way. So these are the size of a nickel diameter speaking. Woo! So these are in a nickel tube, by the way, that kind of fell over uh, with all my <clears throat> aggressive shaking. But yeah, let's take a look at these. So these uh, three nines fine, one ounce Swiss of America. They are so simple, but the fact that they're so fat and chunky with such an awesome little uh, picture on here. Look at the detail, there's a tree, a barn, some some mountains. Swiss of America is kind of put there in the, uh, like, it's like a negative writing or whatever. It's like in the image. Super cool. I know a lot of you guys I've seen uh, have these and I've always been incredibly jealous because they're super hard to find. If you find these on uh, App Max or something like that, I've seen them going for like, 50 plus 60 plus dollars when they come in stock and they only come in like one or two at a time um, Obviously your other options are to buy them from eBay or to try to find them at a local coin shop Maybe even a coin show would have them But I promise you every coin show I've gone to I've looked for these and you find maybe one Here I got my hands on quite a few of them two Three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So ten of them fit inside a nickel tube. Um, yeah, they're one troy ounce each. You can get some cool toning on them like this one and it doesn't even make it look bad. Actually, I kind of think this is the coolest one out of them all. It's got some uh, fingerprint spots on it, <clears throat> but these things are generic at the end of the day. Uh, they're just high premium vintage generic. These things have earned the the term Rolo round because if you go on eBay or whatever and you look up Swiss of America one ounce rounds, you'll find that there are these ones, the Rolo round. They're super thick, really short diameter, small diameter. And then they have the normal round size. They're like 38 millimeters, really thin. 
And the problem is it's really hard to tell a difference by looking at a YouTube picture or a it's really hard to tell the difference by looking at an eBay picture, which one it is, because they got it zoomed in like this. They're like, oh, look, there's no background, nothing to compare it to. And they're like, yep, Swiss of America round. And you don't know exactly which one you're getting unless you're, you know, familiar with the product or whatever. But um, these come in different variations as well. They have uh, some with different fronts, some with different backs. The, um, <clears throat> the... The mintages are really, really low. Actually, let me pull them up for you. Draper Mint. So if you guys don't know also, I'll take this second to plug allinglehard.com. I'll put it in the description below. If you want to know anything about vintage bars, vintage silver, um, particular mints, you can find pretty much anything you want on this website. It's called allinglehard.com. <clears throat> and they do have these Swiss of Americas. So, so the mintage on these is uh, unknown, but it's, um, less than 100,000. So if you find the other ones, like there's the Golden West Grand Teton, Teton ones or whatever, um, I've seen some of you guys have those actually too. Those are less than 25,000, so they're even more rare. And I never see those at shows or shops or anything. I only see them on eBay. And, uh, I, I'm not a big fan of buying coins on eBay. Uh, unless it's from a recognized dealer, you know, someone that's going to insure the product, uh, like for real, you know, but yeah, let's, uh, look at these on the scale. Just to see them. 31.4. Get it back in that tube. 31.5. 31.6. They don't got to be exact. The scale is not exact. 31.5, Yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below um, if you guys have any of these or if you're looking for them or if uh, you know, you got a good source for them because for me, they're super rare and I love them. And uh, I guess also let me know if you're interested in them because these ones happen to be up for grabs if the price is right. So just let me know uh, what you guys think. But I just want to take a second to talk about these. It's always fun to go back and get this old stuff, the stuff that's what kind of defied all odds as being just a generic silver back in the day, but has appreciated just like a numismatic coin. So for me, I think that's super cool and interesting. There's a lot of history behind basically metal refining back in the day. So I like how it's captured in these little rollo rounds. Anywho, thanks for watching. Uh, this was kind of a two part video on accident, but uh, yeah, you guys get a uh, buy one, get one today on the videos. So, anywho, it's good to talk to you guys. Toodaloo.